In this video, we'll continue our discussion of algorithms with if-then statements. An if-then statement is a special type of statement known as a conditional, in which the instructions that follow the word then are only followed if the condition that follows the word if is true. If the condition following the word if is false, the instructions following the word then are skipped and we move to the next step in our algorithm. Consider the following example of an if-then statement in action. Below is an algorithm that accepts as input an integer a and consists of two steps. Step one is the conditional statement, if a is even, then return a. Step two is to return zero. Let's run this algorithm with the input a equals five. The first step in our algorithm checks to see if a is even. 5 is not even, so the conditional statement a is even is false, so the instructions to return a are not followed and are instead skipped. So we move on to step 2 of our algorithm, which is to return 0. So for the input a equals 5, the output is 0. Now let's run the algorithm again with the input a equals 2. The first step is to check if a is even. 2 is even, so the instructions to return A are followed, and our program immediately terminates with the output 2. Try running this algorithm again with the inputs A equals 4 and A equals 1, and record your output. For the input A equals 4, you should have gotten the output of 4, and for the input A equals 1, the output should be 0. As mentioned previously, we can use algorithms to represent various mathematical ideas. One such idea is the notion of absolute value, which is the positive distance from any integer a to zero, denoted by a surrounded by two vertical bars. We define the absolute value of a as follows. If a is positive, then the absolute value of a is a itself. If a is negative, then the absolute value of a is the positive value of that integer a. For example, the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. And finally, if a is equal to 0, then the absolute value of a is 0. Using this definition, we can construct an algorithm for computing absolute value. The input for this algorithm is an integer a, and the steps to follow will consist of the three conditional statements if a is greater than 0, then return a. If a is less than 0, then return negative a. And finally, if a is equal to 0, then return 0. Let's run this algorithm with the input a equals 1. The first conditional statement asks if a is greater than 0. 1 is greater than 0. So we return 1, and our algorithm ends immediately without executing statements 2 or 3. So for the input a equals 1, the output is 1. Now let's run the algorithm again with the input a equals negative 6. The first conditional statement checks whether or not a is greater than 0. Negative 6 is not greater than 0, so the instructions to return a are skipped, and we proceed to step 2. Step 2 asks us to check if a is less than 0. Negative 6 is less than 0, so the instructions to return negative a are followed, and our algorithm terminates immediately. Negative negative 6 is equal to positive 6, so for the input a equals negative 6, our output is positive 6.